Hi friends, today I am giving a lecture on hexadecimal number system in digital logic design or our switching theory and logic design. Hexadecimal number system is one type of number systems. There are four types of number systems. One is a binary number system. Second one is decimal number system. Third one is octal number system. And fourth one is hexadecimal number system. Hence, we can say that hexadecimal number system is the one type of number system. Hexadecimal number system has the base or a radix is 16. Okay. Since its base or radix is equal to 16, 16 can be written as 2 power 4. Okay. Every 4 bit binary group can be represented as 1 hexadecimal digit. In other words, every hexadecimal digit can be represented by using 4 bit binary group or a every 4 bit binary group can be represented by using one hexadecimal a digit okay every 4 bit binary group is called as a nibble okay every 4 bit binary group is called as nibble okay so hexadecimal number system is the most widely used number system in computer literature. Hexadecimal number system can be used in both large and small computers. Hexadecimal number system is mainly used for human interactions in computer with computer systems. That means human communications with computers. At that place, we have to use hexadecimal number system okay generally the computer words comes in 4 bits 8 bits 16 bits 32 bits and 64 bits okay in terms of multiples of 4 bits okay so because of that reason hexadecimal number system is mainly used in computer literature okay so in hexadecimal number system can be treated as a positional weighted system positional weighted system means we can take the hexadecimal number it consists of every bit some combination of uh, hexadecimal uh, digit each and every digit has a particular weight based on its position. Suppose we have to take this is a hexadecimal number. In that hexadecimal number, so 0 to 9 numbers, 0 to 9 digits are there. 10 to 15, so capital A to capital F are there. So for example, here decimal number, the corresponding hexadecimal number, so 0 to 9, there is no change at all. So 0 to 9, same 0, decimal number 0 is equivalent to hexadecimal number 0. Decimal number 1 can equal to hexadecimal number 1. Decimal number 2 is equivalent to hexadecimal number 2. So here decimal number 10 is equivalent to hexadecimal digit capital A. Decimal number 11 is equivalent to hexadecimal number capital B. So 12 can be treated as capital C. 13 is equivalent to capital D. 14 is equivalent to capital E. 15 is equivalent to capital F. So simply we can say that hexadecimal number system has 16 independent symbols that are 0 to 9 and A to F. Okay, because its base or radix is equal to 16, 
So because of that reason, it consists of 16 independent symbols. So that is 0 to 9, capital A to capital F. Now we are taking one example. This is a hexadecimal number. In that hexadecimal number, 0 to 9 digits are there. Capital A to capital F or half of it are there. Here, 73A4 dot C5. So, this is hexadecimal number. It satisfies the 0 to 9 digits and capital A to capital F. Before the decimal point, this is called as integer part. After the decimal point, it is called as fraction part. Okay. So, hexadecimal number system is a positional weighted system. Okay. The positional weights are, okay. So, this is integer part positional weights. This is the fractional part positional weights. So, integer part and fractional part separates the uh, decimal point. So, before the decimal point, these are called as integer part. After the decimal point, these are called as fractional parts. So, these are the integer part positional weights starts from 16 power 0 to uh, 16 power k. Uh, fractional parts positional weights starts from 16 power 1 to minus 1 to 16 power minus k. Okay. Now, apply these positional weights to this number. So, here 4 positional weight is 16 power 0. A positional weight is 16 power 1. 3 positional weight is 16 power 2 and 7 positional weight is 16 power 3. Okay. Now, after the decimal point, capital C positional weight is a 16 power minus 1. Ka 5 positional weight is 16 power minus 2. Okay. Now, these positional weights are multiplied with the corresponding hexadecimal digit before the decimal point and after the decimal point then we are getting the products these products are added then we are getting the equivalent decimal number okay so in this way we have to calculate the equivalent decimal number for the given hexadecimal number okay so simply we can say that hexadecimal number system is mainly used for human com human communications with computers so it is most widely used number systems when compared to the remaining three number systems hexadecimal number system is used in small and large computers Hexadecimal number system is a positional weighted system. Every hexadecimal digit can be represented by using a 4-bit binary group. Every 4-bit binary group can be formed as one hexadecimal digit. Every 4-bit binary group is called as a nibble. Okay, so these are the points. Okay. So, because of its base or radix 16, it has 16 independent symbols. So, 0 to 9 and capital A to capital F. A is equal to 10, B is equal to 11, C is equal to 12, D is equal to 13, E is equal to 14 and F is equal to 15. Okay. Now, generally computer words comes in 4 bits, 8 bits, 12 bits, 16 bits, 32 bits, 64 bits. Okay. So, in terms of multiples of 4 bits. So, because of that reason, they can be easily represented in hexadecimal number, hexadecimal number system. So, because of that reason, the most widely used number system is hexadecimal number system. Okay. So, now in the previous videos, how to convert the given hexadecimal number to binary number? How to convert the binary number into given hexadecimal number? How to convert the octal number into hexadecimal number? How to convert the hexadecimal number to octal number? Please check the previous videos for your number system conversions. So, thank you. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, 
please share this video to your friends and classmates if you like this video please subscribe my channel name so dibbela srinivasarao thank you